Yo, it's Mike Zick. I'm out here South by Southwest 2018, man. Um, this is first post in a minute for the Renaissance Hustle blog. Um, I apologize for not posting as much, man. I put too much pressure on my shoulders to drop some magnanimous shit and not give you the raw unfiltered like I should be. So my apologies. Really, um, it's been hurting myself. So you're going to see a lot more raw and filthy. That's what you're getting today. So y'all might have seen my Instagram post where I was like, fuck this South by Southwest shit. Fuck hip hop and South by Southwest. I'm angry. I went to sleep early. I left this shit. I left this, this shit show, man. Um, what I felt is a shit show. And I had to leave early and dip out, man. So I want to expound on that, man. You know what I mean? I want to get y'all feedback and comments because a lot of people drop comments on my post, man. So I want to give you more than just a couple flashcards in a minute post. So there's, there's two things we looking at here, okay? I've been doing this for a while. I'm an MC. I curate shows and I try to do things the right way because the, 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 the path isn't defined for you necessarily and the outcome is never in doubt, but it's doing it the right way or the way you try to be correct in doing it. Um, this is something that I don't waver from. I try not to waver from. So, when I'm here and I see like, and it's not just about South by Southwest, okay? Not specifically. It's about the infrastructure sometimes and the mentality. So I want to get into two things. The mentality of hip-hop, hip-hoppers, artists, contributors, um, curators, and then there's the second side is the, the infrastructure of it all, of concerts in specific, concerts and live shows, okay? And the third thing I'm gonna talk about is why do not fucking go to hip hop shows? First of all, I'm gonna start with that. Why I don't go to hip hop shows like that? 90% of them, I'm not going to. I'm not going to this show out here because there's only gonna be 50 rappers on the fucking bill, um, 50 rappers that don't respect each other. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's gonna be, it's, it's, I see this predatory fucking booking, fucking, um, a thirst trap, thirst trapping, for real. Promoters out here, anybody can get the stage, anybody can get the stage. You know what I'm saying? If you got the money, you got the money, you cool. And then it's predatory thirst trapping for rappers that just need a stage. There's a fine line between giving a rapper a stage or being an outlet for opportunity and an outlet for an outlet and just being predatory about this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And I, I that line is habitually being crossed out here and it's fucking with me, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to those shows. Cause that energy, the peace and positivity in there, the motivation, the inspiration is in there. You know what? I got an analogy. It's like going to the strip club full of ugly strippers that have never stripped before and watching their corny boyfriends throw money at them. Then they pick the money up and say, fuck y'all, I'm out. That's what this shit feel like 98% of the time. So yesterday I was in my fucking heart. I was on my Post Malone shit like, fuck hip hop. I want to go see some other shit. I went and tried to find a white girl playing the guitar. I went and saw a fucking, a, a, a queer Chinese band that was fire, funk and pop and they was killing it. And people was in there having a good ass time. I didn't understand nothing they were saying. The energy was right. So anyway, let's talk about this mentality, man. It's the mentality that a lot of people, man, the higher up, uh, let's say the man, white people, whatever, they associate violence with hip hop. You know what I'm saying? The powers that be, or whoever, the outside looking in, that's how they look at us. They associate violence with hip hop. Let me check this real quick. That they associate violence with hip hop, and they associate people of color, minorities, black folks, with, with ignorance, hood, and violence. And so that's why they scared to give us anything, okay? And then, when we get something, we play right into their stereotypes. They shoot, they fighting at the club. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's beefing with somebody. They get on stage and it's like 30 people on stage. More people on stage than the crowd. They're like, fuck you, look at us. Fuck that entitlement shit, man. I'm not here to see that shit. I don't want to see that shit. I want to be a part of that. I don't want to host your show if it's like that. For real, for real. I only host shit that's mine on people that I fuck with, that I generally fuck with. You know what I'm saying? So, they thirst trapping out here. <laughs> Great time out here, man. Anyway, um, that's not the way, man. That shit isn't hip hop, man. You know what I'm saying? And so, we playing today, man. They wouldn't give us anything, so we go and take it. And that's what hip hop is, making, making something out of nothing. But then when we get it, how is that be? Fuck that up. We fuck it up for ourselves. We ruin it for ourselves. We ruin it for everybody else, man. So, you see predatory book, you know what I'm saying? Promoters get a stage and they charge, you know, crazy prices. And I, I understand, listen, I understand that, man. Business models are business models. Everything is different. Artists need to do the smart thing and assess value. 
you can't but how that plays into the structure now I'll get into the structure here in a second of hip hop shows all that combined it fucks everything up and it's some whack corny ass shit and then the powers that be like the South by Southwest or whatever festival is like hey you gonna pay us the money to come do your shit show fine just give us the money come do your shit show y'all fight each other and kill each other y'all do all that we're just taking the money and that money plays into their infrastructure so it can be as big as it can be so bigger brands can come in so we're really just pawns in their fucking game you wanna be a pawn or do you wanna be a fucking king and if you're an artist you wanna be a thirsty ass motherfucking rapper or you wanna be a fucking a fucking entrepreneur and businessman and own your shit you wanna be respected if you wanna be respected you gotta give that respect. You know what I'm saying? You gotta respect yourself and exude that respect. You wanna get love, you gotta show love, man. <laughs> Yo, getting heated now thinking about this shit, man. You know what I mean? So, infrastructure, why I'm upset. You'll see a show with 50 rappers on a fucking bill, 50 artists on a bill. That shit does not work, yo. You cannot have that many people on a bill and expect to have any type of full flow. Now, if you have a 12-hour day and you got 50 people on it, you could probably make that shit work. But some of these promoters and, and, and curators or whatever the fuck you want to call them, man, like, they have no structure. They just know they can make some money or they can flex. This whole flex card, this whole flex game, fuck the flex game. I can flex on y'all all day when it comes to this hip-hop shit and really talk some shit and, and start waving accolades. I ain't got no trophies or whatever. It's not a fucking about that because this shit is bigger than me. Anyway, they don't know what the fuck they doing. 50 people on the bill, there's no structure, no format, and then the people on the bill ain't got no respect for what's going on, and they just, you know, they know they gotta get days regardless, so they're gonna try to get up there and get their shit off. And then, the uh, if they have the cash to get in, they'll do it. Motherfuckers rapping over their vocals, then they go up there, get on stage, act like they did something, and peel the fuck off. Ain't say shit, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, that shit, nah, man. Nah, bro, keep that shit in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to knock your outlet. If you really want to see if you can do this shit for real and if you can touch people, rap right here on this fucking corner. Rap on this street. Take it back out here to the streets and rap and do it and do it like that. And this cast that's out here doing that, I got respect for them because they turned up They turned up on the street on the block and crowds are coming. I respect that. I respect more somebody that, that has a story to tell with their rhymes. Even if they don't have a fan base, because concert, concert, concert game is about fanfare, happy fans. But as us trying to express ourselves and get ourselves out there, transfer that energy, man, and tell your story. But if cats ain't doing that, cats is performing shit that they think they, they people want to hear. That shit is whack, cause don't nobody want to hear that shit. And then if you get 50 people like that on the bill, that makes for a whack ass show. Artists got to do the smart thing. Promoters got to do the right thing. If you want artists, be smart with your investments. Don't be a fucking mouse literally going into a fucking trap in one of these buildings so you can perform. When you can do something right here on the street, you can express yourself and, and draw crowds and make a name for yourself. That's what hip-hop is about. It's making a name for yourself. That's what coming up is about. It's making a name for yourself. Don't rap for other rappers that ain't going to show you love. I got shows with rappers, 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 but they rap for each other and they show each other love. They control the rise, the beats is playing, cats will be over here ciphering. Don't nobody get on my mic unless I see them ciphering. Because if you're not contributing to this energy of what we're doing, you're not going to get on this mic because you're thirsty and you just want to show off. But you was, you was scared to, to express yourself with, with the fellowship that's going on. That's what hip hop is about, to transfer of energy, a fellowship, and never forget the essence of it, man. It's turning something, turning, turning nothing into something, man. Wow, what's up, man? How you living? You good, man? Good to see you, man. You probably don't remember me. I got booed off the stage at the bar exam in Dallas, but I'm a whole another man no now. Doubt, that no shit doubt. changed my life. Hey, man, I appreciate you. You know what's up? Let me finish this up real quick. Yeah, work, work, work. Yeah, man. So, um, that's that, man. But, um, man, just in closing, man, for real, for real, we just got to do better. You know what I mean? If we want to be kings, we got to be, we got to carry ourselves like kings. We can't be pawns out here for the, for the, the powers that be that you can't even see. They at the mountaintop. You can't see through that, but you know we're pieces in their game. You know what I'm saying? You got to be a fucking king. The love you give is the love you get back. Respect the mic, respect the stage. Respect, you'll get that respect, man. You know what I'm saying? Do the smart thing, artists. Promoters do the right thing. Don't be fucking around, man. Um, I just want to shout out all my homies back home in Atlanta, man. Even, let me say this, first of all, 
All that shit, all that other shit, that shit is played out. That shit is old. Y'all gotta catch up, man. We're doing great things in Atlanta, man. From Controller Rise, Freestyle Experiment, War Exam, my homies in the work crew. They, they throwing parties, chicks is coming through, dancing, sweating it out. That's what it's about, man. It's colorless, it's ageless, it's, it's fucking uh, blindless. What's up, my man? <laughs> um, it's colorless, it's, it's, it's ageless, it's, it's genderless. It's, it's just a great ass time, great transfer of energy, man. That's what it's all about, man. Even the artists, the trap artists, cats is not gonna trap and shit like that. Some of these artists are really talking about their story now. Like, you may not have quite been like that three, four years ago, you know, but now it's like, it's cool to share your story. And I respect cats doing that, even if I'm So, anyway, drop a comment, tell me your thoughts about all of this, uh, maybe your personal experience with it, man and uh, what we can do going forward. How do we improve it? What are the answers, you know? So Mike Sick, South by Southwest 2018, Renaissance Hustle Vlog. I'm out, peace.